guys, Akiko Yoshi Johnson here. Happy Friday and a happy Valentine's Day, um, it, which is technically um, on Monday. It's Friday right now, so. But I'm sure lots of couples are planning on special something for the weekend, so good luck and have a good time. And here I want to talk about uh, cultural differences on Valentine's Day thing between North America and Japan. Uh, as you know, I was born and raised in Japan and uh, um, and now living in North America, so I see some differences. And uh, here in North America, men treat their women on Valentine's Day, something special, pamper them, make them happy, and make them feel special, which is, I really, really like. Wink, wink. <laughs> but in Japan, it's completely reversed. Uh, women serve for men, and which is pretty ridiculous. And it's not just special summer, it's just guys, everyone. Like, uh, if I were there, I end up giving a box of chocolates, and it's all about chocolates. Um, now it's a little bit changing, I'm sure, to uh, like a little um, flowers or bottle of wine or something like that, but I still a chocolate box of chocolates. Um, if I'm in Japan still working, then probably I have to give to my dad for sure, my um, male co-workers, um, male neighbors, my cousin, male cousin. It's just like a list goes on and on and on and uh, it's just ridiculous. Um, <laughs> and my dad in the opposite, uh, he's a doctor working for three clinics so he every year he gets tons of boxes of chocolate from nurses, female hospital workers, administrators and uh, female patients and like and you know Japan is let's face it still a male uh, dominant country and um, man's ego is so high already but it's even get higher on Valentine's Day because it's like a chocolate counting contest like I got 12 boxes of chocolate, ha ha ha, and you know, like, oh, I got 20, ha ha ha, it's like, oh, just so silly, and my dad brings those chocolates home, and, and uh, show it off, and uh, he doesn't even eat it, um, my mom and sister and I, uh, polished them off, I remember, um, uh, we didn't complain about it, <laughs> it was nice, but that's what's going on, and the funny thing is I see as I grew up, especially in the high school days, so, and I believe it or not, I went to a <laughs> Catholic girls only high school and those girls tried so hard to be pretty on a Valentine's Day and make a pretty package with a box of chocolate, uh, of chocolate and to give to um, good looking handsome male teachers in in a school or even a, in a neighboring, in my case, in a neighboring um, neighborhood, there is a boys only school and there's a, tons of good looking uh, baseball heroes, uh, soccer players in the school and, and uh, those girls are trying so hard to, you know, make it special, they get some attention to present their chocolates to those guys, like I thought that is a pretty stupid, <laughs> but anyway, that's what's happening. And the uh, strange thing is a month later, um, a month later, um, it's March 14th, um, there is a thing called White Day, and I'll tell you what, <laughs> it is the most stupid thing. Uh, that candy company thought up with, but they make money. Um, the thing is, the guys who received uh, chocolates from ladies on Valentine's Day have to give back white chocolates to those ladies uh, for thank you. In return, it's like, oh, please, that's just so silly. Um, but it's like uh, that's kind of customary there, uh, even when I was growing up there. And 
It's like, uh, oh, please, just make it one day, not、um, a month later. It's, it's just things, too, too many things to do. But、um, I think it's、uh, purpose of a Valentine's Day、uh, in Japan lost in translation. And、uh, I noticed a big time. And I like North American tradition men serves for women something special. So don't change it. I know some guys like that.、Uh, Japanese idea, but don't, don't even think about it. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for today's vlog, and I hope this was、uh, interesting for you. And、um, I'll chat with you on the Monday vlog. Thanks for watching, and have a nice weekend. Bye bye.